Kate, thanks for having us at Meanwhile. Thank you for being here. Now, I'm thinking back to a time when, for a long time, a lot of us felt like there weren't artist-run spaces in Wellington for a long time. Mm. After Massey University started its fine arts course, it was a long time when, you know, a lot of that was happening in Auckland, maybe a little bit in Christchurch, but it wasn't happening here. And then along came Meanwhile, and now we have PlayStation as well. Yeah. Uh, you probably remember that time a little bit. Has it made a big difference to have a space like Meanwhile? In Wellington? Um, well, I like to think so. <laughs> yeah. um, of course, Meanwhile was created in response to that um, in 2016. And uh, I hope that we have contributed to a better sense of community for artists right. and uh, better access to sharing and exploring their work. Yeah. Okay, well, it's, a, it's called an artist run space. Mm. What is an artist run space? I mean, what is, why is that different from, say, a gallery? Well, we do have some public funding, but we rely primarily on grants and we have a kind of support support relationship with our studio artists. What, so, do, what does that mean? So <laughs> we... <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> um, we support them in their practice, but also by paying their rent for their studio spaces, they support us running yes. this whole space as well. Yeah. yeah, which has a nice collective feel to it, doesn't it? It's, it does. it's got a supportive ecosystem yeah. to it. Absolutely. Yeah. So my memory is, meanwhile, Gallery started uh, as a space in Victoria Street near the police station. You've moved to this quite different, quite special space, yes. 99 Wallace Street. Yeah. Um, it's quite a different sort of space. Mm. Yeah. Um, so we moved in early 2017, and now we are, as you say, upstairs here on Wallace Street. Um, I think it has been really positive for us. I, for me, feels authentic to who we are. I think you know, with the traffic noise and the our iconic brick wall, um, yeah. it feels like a really dynamic space and a space that people are free to do things the way they want to do in here. Yeah, it's it's a it's a, it's an interesting piece of architecture in itself. I know you're a, an architecture student, a master student. Um, the, you know, it's nice to see the buildings like this, which have kind of a, a historic feeling to them, kind of reused in these kind of ways, I yeah. think. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, I find it a beautiful space to be in. It's really gratifying to be in a space that has character. And I think for me, there's a really interesting push and play between artists bringing their work into the space and the space kind of pushing back at it. Yeah, um, I, I, well, part of that is you can just feel that in the design of the space. It's not like your standard kind of white cube gallery space at all. We can mm -hmm. see how this kind of, it's almost symbolic in the way the, the walls it is, yeah. you put in kind of interact with the original infrastructure. Mm. And we've had some really interesting shows this year that have played on that. We've been painting okay. the walls, we've been hanging things from the ceiling, having installations on the floor. Right. And we have a history of doing that in the gallery as well, which is um, something that we'll continue to be bringing into 2020. So, the exhibition program, who shows here? Uh, well, we try and support primarily Poneke and Aotearoa artists, okay. um, emergent artists with, um, where possible, explorative practices. <laughs> right. Yeah. Are they, and they tend to be early in their career often, right? Yes, exactly. Do they have to have graduated from a university? No, or? no absolutely no? not. Um, what we look for is just a spark or something of interest for us in the work, something that feels meaningful to us. and. Often we end up in a relationship with that artist where we're going back and forth and working on it with them rather than them having to bring to us a kind of finished oh, object. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So you're often in a curatorial position. I see you, you, you guys do have curatorial positions, so you're yeah. working on the development of the work in that way. Yeah. And how is it selected? Is it like a group of you selecting the work? or And is there an application time of the year? Or? Yeah, so we actually will be putting out our call for proposals sometime soon for 2020. Uh, and then those proposals are uh, reviewed by the panel of facilitators. And um, we just try and have a range of works across a range of practices as well. Cool. Yeah. Well, speaking of ranges of practices, painting. Um, Refuses to die, and this is a really interesting show. Um, yeah, how did how did you why did you select this 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 exhibition? Well, we don't want painting to die. <laughs> Primarily, we were really um, grateful to have a painting proposal. Um, I think there is still a lot of relevance for painting, a lot of relevance for painting as object and mark making as something that every person can relate to when they look at it. Yeah. Cool. Thank you.
I'm Teresa. What does a gallery like or an artist run space like meanwhile mean for you as an artist? Um, I think that there's kind of an understanding that a space like this um, kind of allows more of a experimental um, nature in exhibitions. Right. Um, and for me it's like quite approachable um, sending a proposal and it's maybe not as daunting or as exclusive as other spaces which um, is pretty amazing. So yeah. you say experimental, is it feels important for you to be able to experiment with how you play, you know, work in a space or work with other artists and take that kind of control? Yeah I think so especially kind of at this stage in, in my practice kind of feeling like I'm kind of still emerging and, and developing it's really nice to um, be able to trust that. So you, you went to art school here in, in Wellington? Yep, I went to Massey. How um, long ago did you graduate? Um, 2018, so mm. two years ago. Yeah, so meanwhile was there as a place that you could look to yep, possibly yep, for sure. developing and, work? Yep, and um, I think the people who started it were a couple of years um, before me at Massey, so yeah. I kind of always looked up to them and thought it was cool what they were doing. Cool, um, yeah. So it's nice to yeah, finally have a chance to be in here. Well, in this show, it's not just you, but you've got two other artists with you. What, yep. what was your concept for that? Why, yep. why not just a solo show? Um, so yeah, the other artists in this show are Alexander Jones and Nagin Dusky. And um, I guess I wanted to um, invite other painters in so that we could kind of um, explore um, a whole range of different kind of content and um, processes with the way that we're working. And I kind of wanted to open that up to be a shared conversation because well for me I always learn things from other people and I thought it would be nice to share that, yeah. pl that platform with people. What, what was it that you liked about their work what, what, or what struck you as starting a conversation with your own? Um, I guess I've been working with kind of painting and abstract painting for a couple of years and um, it's always trying to train new things and develop a language for that and I saw them both as people who were doing that um, uh, in quite yeah. a yeah, a, quite a good way. Um, I've been following the games practice for a couple of years, and it was cool to see that she had relocated to Wellington. So I kind right. of jump, jumped on that when I saw um, that she was around, and Ollie went to Massey as well. So I've kind of seen his practice develop too. Um, and there's also about six other artists who are kind of connected to the show through like a shared conversation and publication. Oh, okay. Um, are which, they all painters or are they working in different media? And they all work in paint, yeah, but oh, okay. quite, a, quite a varied um, range of like topics and things explored there. But um, the conversation is kind of, yeah, about, about the places they draw from and the different kind of um, processes they go through. So. When you say places, are those places cultural or geographic or? Um, or they so or they really varied. Really varied. So yeah, it can be um, yeah some physical places, emotional places, cultural. There's a, there's a whole lot of different um, approaches. Okay. In that publication, yeah. Now we we're here at meanwhile during installation. People yeah. might they might not Sorry. know that <laughs> it could you know it could be a very, very experimental approach <laughs> to yeah. hanging a show. But <laughs> That'd I, be cool. so I'm kind of that, that's a really interesting opportunity for viewers to see. What, do you know where things are going to be and how they, how, how, what's the process we're in the middle of here? Um, I think you're actually at the beginning of the process, so right. I wouldn't be surprised if it changed quite a so lot. So that, that work might not be there by Thursday when you open? Might not, but I do, <laughs> I'm quite liking it there right now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we just had our first kind of go at it this morning with Ollie okay. and again, but we're going to have a couple more times where we come together and shuffle things around. So the three of you are hanging it together? Yeah. So it's a literal, it's almost kind of physical conversation. Yeah, yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. We've kind of deciding which, which works are the anchors and um, things are kind of just falling in around them. But yeah, the space is really interesting. So.